<sighs> Damn, Q. Maybe you did that. Yo, yo, man, you already know what the deal is, man. It's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205. Down for another exclusive interview off the block, man. Hey, we got a treat for y'all today, right? This is a return guest. I call him EJ, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> but he goes by the name of Eric Johnson, man. What up, EJ? What's up? What's up, man? Hey, so I'm excited to have you back. Now, a lot of people might not know exactly, you know, what your story is, but mm-hmm. if you've seen the last interview then you know what the story is but uh since then you've written a book yes, now for the people who don't know exactly who you are let's give them a little bit of a, a flashback of who you are and how you got to this point yeah man hey first of all q thanks man thanks oh. for having me on man you already know man, ain't no problem Number love man. yeah it was a struggle getting you on the first it, it time. It was a though. struggle. It was and then a it struggle. took you five years to get back. It's, it's all good that's another story but yes, go ahead sir. but yeah man you know i had got to a point in my life to where i had gained a lot of weight man and uh you know, lost my job. That was yeah. really one of the reasons why I gained so much weight, man. I, you know, the job, the job, yeah, whole okay. job situation, man. Yeah. Didn't have a plan B. So once, yeah. once that happened, you know, everything started caving in, man. The walls started caving in. So I'm just at the crib, you yeah, know, for sure, just eating. So <laughs> during that time, <laughs> man, I was yeah. able to 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 write this book and yeah. and to change some things, change my mindset, right, and um, do things a little bit different, man. Yeah, for sure. Now. Uh, last time you was here, uh, mm-hmm. obviously we talked about the journey of getting to uh, of losing two or three people. I yeah, guess you would say, yeah. won't even say a person, but um, getting rid of that weight. So we talked about that journey. So since mm-hmm. then, I know on the show we were talking about this book, right? Yes, and uh, the name. Go ahead and introduce the book first, okay. and then we'll, we'll get into it. All right. So the book is called "The Weight Is Over." Yep. And it's my W E A W E I G H T. Well, I can't yes, spell yes. it. <laughs> it's uh, my battle with obesity. So for sure. Um, like I said, I was 550 pounds mm. at that one point, man, and, yeah. and was able to shed, you know, uh, over 355 pounds. Yeah, so, man, that's a yeah. lot of weight. That's a lot of weight. That's man. a lot of weight. That's a lot of weight. And, so. and that's not just that's not just physical weight either. No. That's uh, you know, that's mental weight. Yeah, it, it's got to be because after a while, obviously, it's, it's there. It's physically demanding. Yeah. But also, it's got to play a role on your psyche, though. Like, yeah. I, yeah. Physically, mentally, spiritually, you know, just that yeah. whole component, you know? Yeah. Um, now, you know what? Talk about that, though, since you mentioned that. You said spiritually. Yeah. Like, did you did you have some spiritual battles because of oh, yeah. this? Like, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah absolutely, us, man. I mean, you know. Give us a little like, peek inside of that. You know, it, you, know you, 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 you get up, you, you, you try to. You try to get up. You try to pray in the morning. You try to, and it was a, it was a battle, man. You know, yeah, every, was, everything's it, a struggle. Yeah. Everything was a struggle. Getting yeah. out the bed, just you know, just moving, and then fi- by the time you finally get to a certain point, yeah. you get in, you get in the shower, you get cleaned up or whatever, mm-hmm. you're tired. Yeah, you know, yeah. So it's, it, you know, you go from physically to spiritually, and everything was just weighing down on me. So yeah. that's why literally, I mean, literally, yeah. literally yeah. the weight is over. So so it's For over sure. now, man. I, I've come to a point in my life to where. And I, I really just got to a point where I was just like, you know what? Mm-hmm. Forget it. I'm going all out. Yeah. And that, and that was yeah. going to be my question. Like, what what was that point? Do you remember? Yeah. Like, what, what the motivating like factor was? Yeah. One of the motivating factors, man, was, um, you know, just watching my wife go to mm. different functions. She was with her homegirls, and they going to- And you're not going. Do, yeah. yeah. I'm, if I'm going, I'm sitting in the car. Yeah. You know? What? Yeah. I wasn't oh. able to. They would do, like, 5Ks. Mm-hmm. 10Ks, you know, uh, yeah. races and stuff. So she was she was trying to lead by example. Yeah, she was leading. Yeah. And I wasn't, I was supposed to be the one that's supposed gotcha. to lead, you know? So, uh, hey, but that's why, change, that's man. when you know you got a good partner, though. Yeah. Because sometimes yeah. the other partner got to lead and, you know, you got to follow suit. Yeah, man. Yeah. I, I appreciate her, too, man. For, for real. sure. Yeah. For sure. Now, that's what's up, though. Now, that was the motivating factor there. All right. So mm-hmm. now, here again in the, uh, the last episode, we were talking about. Uh, writing this book and it took you mm-hmm. took you a little time to get there so so with that journey what was the motivating factor for you then to like all right i'm about to go ahead and do this because i know we, we talked about it yeah and i you know i said yeah, i yeah. i ain't gonna tell the people you were procrastinator <laughs> but no but we was talking about it and it was never coming through Man. but uh so like what sparked you this time like you know what I, let me go ahead and do this you know it was funny because even the last time we talked man i was mm-hmm. i was telling everybody yeah i'm gonna write a book and then i had <laughs> other people ask me 
So when is the book coming out? When is the book coming exactly. out? Exactly. And I was telling people, I'm writing a book. Yeah. Never wrote the book. I'm sitting there just blank, you know. Right. Did I couldn't do it. I didn't do anything, man. Just yeah. procrastinating. That's it. You yeah. know, and I was like, you know what? Let me just sit down and let me start. Let me start with a chapter. Yeah. Let me start with a that's, paragraph to a chapter, you know. And just that's the hardest it. part. Getting yeah. started is the hardest part. That's the hardest part. Yeah, for part. sure. Now, when you did this, obviously you hadn't written a book before. So no. did you did you have some inspiration or some guidance? Like, where where did that come from? You know, basically, man, I just wanted to, you know, I wanted God to use me, man. If, it's, yeah. if there's a way that I can help other people yeah. get around the weight. Yeah. The mental weight first. For sure. And, for you sure. know, just being able to, because I, I don't want to see people struggle the way I struggle. Yeah, you no know, doubt. I, it was a struggle, man. Yeah. You know, just getting up, like I said, going, trying to trying to maintain. Yeah, Even sure. though it was rough. Yeah. You know, because when I lost my job, man, it was um, it was a pretty decent job. You yeah, know? yeah, no doubt. Like no I doubt. said, I didn't have a plan B. So, yeah. you know. It was rough. It was now, rough, now is is that a? I mean, obviously, I know, I know that's a, a situation losing your job yeah. and not having, you know, a, a plan B. Um, and this is, you know, losing the weight and or let's just say gaining the weight. Let's let's start there because yeah. obviously that, that had to happen first. I know that was a triggering factor. Yeah. Um, with that being in mind, do you move differently now as far as like? Having a plan B for things, oh, absolutely. Like absolutely. yeah, so that, that kind of yeah. that puts you yeah. in that perspective, huh? Yeah, man. It, 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 <laughs> different ways that I think about different situations. Now. Yeah, you know, um, I know that if if something doesn't work out, I'm working on that plan B. Even exactly. now, right? You know, I got you. Even now, so uh, there, there's a plan B. There's a mm. there's a plan C in <laughs> right. place. You know, so, so I'm, you ain't I'm, never let that happen. No, again, I can't huh? let that happen, man. <laughs> I, you, you, you got a family. You yeah, know, I got no, a wife, for sure. man. So I gotta. Be able to be able to, to to support her, be the man that I am supposed to for be. For sure, you know? exactly. So, yeah. Now speaking of speaking on that, uh, saying you know being the man that you're supposed to be. Yeah. How much how much of your faith played a part in this transition? Oh man, it was. Huge. I know I know a lot of people just don't give enough enough credit. You know where credit is due. So how mm-hmm. much of your faith was what you credit this to? Man, let me tell you, it wasn't nothing but God, man. Because yeah. every time I think about it, mm-hmm. it's like. Man, I know I'm not supposed to be here. As you yeah. see, I'm not tall. Right. <laughs> right, <laughs> we both short. You're <laughs> talking about 550 pounds, man. Yeah. I'm 5'7", five, 5'8". Five, yeah. You know, that That's was just way too much weight, man. Yeah, for sure. On my knees. Everything. Uh, my joints, you know, just everything. So yeah. I know, man, I'm not supposed to be here. So when I'm mm-hmm. sitting up there and I'm laying back in the hospital, mm-hmm. and I'm actually, I'm talking to God. I'm like, Lord, you got it. We got it. You got to work this gotta, thing yeah, out. You got to get this together. got to work this thing out. So I know something ain't right. Not, you know something ain't right. right. <laughs> it ain't right. But Help I'm, me out. But I'm going to trust you. Yeah. I'm going to trust you so we can get this thing, so I can get this thing right. Yeah. And so I can help others, man. So, I, you know, I don't want to say it like this, but uh, you owe us this. Oh, absolutely. You owe us this book, man, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Because <laughs> you asked for this. Man. So now you owe it to us. I owe it. Yeah, for I sure. I owe it, yeah. You kind of look at it that way, though? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah for sure. absolutely, man. Man, that's crazy, though. Uh, I did want to I want to talk about this, too, though. Can I, we talked about it a little bit yeah. uh, off camera, though, just about the, the publishing process. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, like, how, how did you get started with that, and who did you reach out to? You know, I reached out with a company out of New York. And, okay. Um, you know, just kind of did my search, did my research. Okay. And um, went with them. They were, you know, pretty professional. Okay. And I'm looking at everything. And I was like, okay, I can work with them. Yeah. And sent them the information. And they sent it back to me and was like, we can work with you. Okay. And so just kind of went through that process at first. And I'm not saying that I would go through that same process again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, because you look at some of the... Uh, the financial cost yeah, up find, front. Find something a little more cost effective. Yeah, just effective. a little bit like more cost effective. But, yeah. I mean, you know, it was the first time. Yeah, which, um, you, which you can now because you, mm-hmm. you kind of know, know uh, the, the ins and outs of it. So, yeah. yeah. So, are you already planning on another title? Oh, or? absolutely. Okay. I already got it in mind. Yeah. Is it, I've it, actually it, already started started writing. Is it so. too soon to talk about yeah, it? Yeah, okay, just a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm not going to press you. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. We'll do that on the next one. Okay, because you know I'll press you. So, right, right. All right. Make sure it, it won't be that long. Yeah. <laughs> now, um, I, I did want to ask you this too, though, because obviously uh, your story is inspiring. Um, mm-hmm. Even before, even before the book, uh, before any of the speaking engagements, like while you were going through, uh, like the weight loss journey, I remember mm-hmm. countless Facebook posts yeah. about you being at the gym five in the morning and like on a on a bad knee that you that, that mm-hmm. needs to be reconstructed, but you still working out on it. So you've been inspiring people for a long time. Man, Have God. you? 
have you run into like some people that you've inspired and it like oh. caught you off guard like I can't believe I, I touched that person's life. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And in fact, I got a uh, on, on the website. Okay. Uh, people will go to the website and see this testimonials. Okay. So I have testimonials where people yeah. have, have spoken uh, just how I used to be and how I am now. So yeah, yeah it's a good thing, man. It's a good feeling, you know. And I, was, that's I was gonna keep ask you. Going. I was gonna ask you how how does that make you feel though man, when, when that happens? Good man. Yeah. It feel, as a matter of fact, I was at the gym the other day mm -hmm. and uh, it was a lady. Uh, I just got back into the swimming. Okay. So after it was one of the lifeguards, so she was there. She was like, "You look familiar. Your face yeah. looks so familiar." But she was like, "I just know that's not that wasn't you." Yeah. And I was like, yeah, like "Yeah, that, that was, was me. me." You know. So <laughs> and she was just like, "Wow, Amazed, you know, uh, like wow." Because when I first started swimming, mm -hmm. I was literally coming to the swimming pool on my crutches. I was actually right. scared to walk in the pool area yeah. on my crutches. So. You're in the pool area, and they, they got this little section where you sit, mm. and they'll lower you down into the pool. Word, okay. You know, so uh, that's how I started, man. Yeah. I, that's how I started. Man, you came school. a long now way. I'm like, you know. Yeah, you came a long way. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> so for somebody who's on, uh, you know, a weight loss journey like that, mm -hmm. I guess what would be your, your first, like, what would you tell them to do first? Is it something mental? Is it something physical? Like, is it something in particular you would say you need to do this first in order to, you know, partake in this journey? You know, a lot of times, even when when I first when I first started, mm -hmm. you know, you already know. All right, this is what I need to do. Right. You know. You kind of know. You, you know. You know. <laughs> you, know. <laughs> you know. So, for me to actually come up to somebody, or either you know, just in conversation or whatever, mm -hmm. first thing for me, man, was just really just get your mindset. Yeah. Get your mind together and just be like, look, I'm yeah. just going to pray and just keep going. Like, look, this is what I'm going to do. And I'm not going to stop. I don't right. care what nobody say. Right. I don't care what nobody. If if people look at me yeah. crazy, mm -hmm. I'm at the gym. You know, people, you know, of course, you're going to get the stairs. I was getting yeah. the stairs before. Right. You know, <laughs> so, right. so you used to it. <laughs> I was used to it. Yeah. So I was like, whatever. You know, when once I, I got my mind to where it's all, I didn't care. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. It went from there. Man, it can be such an inspiration, though, because I remember, uh, you know, before I, I took a long hiatus from the yeah. gym, and I, I got to get back in there, too. But I remember going to the gym. I was actually going to uh, the Planet Fitness, I believe, is in Oak Park. Yeah. And it was a it was a guy in there that I would see every time I go in. It's an older gentleman, and he had, like, a like a severe limp. Like, mm -hmm. something was wrong with his leg. Okay. But um, he in there every day. Every day. And he didn't care if people was looking at him limping or whatever. Like, yeah. hey, I got to be here. Yeah. And for me, I was like, dog, if he going to be in here, <laughs> I got to get here. Yeah. Because, like, how he won up at me, and I got two good legs, Man. and he coming in here on the bum when he making it, Man. and I ain't making it. So, you know, it's always that that small inspiration. Did, now, I, I guess I got to ask you this, too, though, because obviously you've inspired a lot of people. Mm -hmm. But did you see some people that inspired you along oh, the way? absolutely. Yeah. Man, you know, you get, you know, you see – Inspiration. Uh, I watch a, watch a, definitely a lot of motivational yeah. uh, series, and you know, so I I, I kind of bounce off of that and just okay. you know have myself surrounded yeah. in the community, man. You know, and you see people, especially when you see like some of the older folks. Yeah, I go to the gym at five o'clock in the morning, so half of those people that are there are retired. Yeah. You know, they don't have anything else to do. Right. But they're trying to stay in shape. Exactly. And I got it. There's a guy there, 80 some years old. What? Every day. He's literally Man. in there. Every day. Not only am I just trying to be alive <laughs> at 80. <laughs> I'm not, I can't even imagine going to the gym at 80. Though. Every day. Yeah. 5 a.m. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> he up early. Get his day started. Yeah. I Man. mean, they're at the crack waiting for the doors open. That's motivation. So that's motivation. For sure. Just in itself. You know? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Now, so you got the book. Let's talk about let's talk about the uh, the process, not mm -hmm. the publishing process, but the writing process. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about that. Uh, I know a little bit off camera, we were talking about how mm -hmm. you don't find out until you start writing that you start revisiting some of these places, these dark places that you had, you know, escaped from. Yeah. Um, what do can you can you tell us a time in the book um, where you were writing something and it took you back to a dark place and like you know what was that like? Yeah, it was tough, man. It was tough. And that was one of the reasons, when, even when we talked before. It took so long. That's why it took, it, it took me forever. <laughs> yeah. Because once you start writing it, then you start thinking back mm -hmm. at those places. You're like, man, yeah, you know, rough. this actually happened. Yeah. You know? And so I stopped. 
I yeah. stopped for a while. Did the start, stop, start, stop. Yeah. And um, it, it took me a minute just to actually get through a chapter. Yeah. You know? And you can see it's not a big book, but it's powerful. Right. That's what I was going to say. You now, know? Is it, is it one in particular that... Oh, it's, I, and I don't, yeah. know if I, I don't know if we want to read... I don't want to get to spoil it. Yeah, I don't want to spoil it, but is it, is it anything you can give us that like about that that one that just really it's, it's made one. you stop writing? Oh man, yeah, it's one in particular that, that really made me stop writing, man. Mm-hmm. And uh, it, it's funny because even when I was going back and forth with the editor, yeah, you know, one of the things she mentioned, she said, "Throw something in there, yeah, that you're not going to put, that you're not going to spoil it up front." But right. once the reader start reading it, they're gonna be like, "For yeah. real? That actually happened." Yeah, but no, I can't give you one. I can give you okay. one, man. Yeah, that's a lot not, of people were shocked. Away a good one. No, I'm yeah. Not, yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna give that one away. Okay, but a lot of people were shocked, man, when they found out. They was like, "Man, what? You didn't been to all these strip clubs back in the day?" I was like, "Yeah, I didn't <laughs> been through. I think I didn't went through all of them in Southeast Michigan, you know, <laughs> and Windsor, you know." It's so, a strip club venture, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm not glorifying it, but I'm just, I'm just, man, was, hey, I'm just being transparent. That was a part you of your know, past. That, yeah, was part, I got that was you. a part of the past. I got you, for sure. And so just get through. <laughs> That's kind of funny, though. It's funny, man. I think a lot of people wouldn't even know that. I think about it now, and I'm like, yeah. oh, wow, yeah, so. <laughs> Had some fun back in the day. Yeah, so. yeah. He said, and day. Windsor. <laughs> you and wild Windsor. boy. <laughs> All right, so that's, a, that's some of the stuff that yeah, we're gonna find in the book, stuff. obviously. Now I know I know the book is motivating, and yeah. of course you've got some motivational stories. Oh, yeah. So where are we at uh, as far as doing like some motivational speaking? Because I know you got to be on that on that role now. So yeah, yeah. yeah. is that is that where you headed with it? Now? I, I'm heading that way. I'm heading okay. in, that, in that direction. Yeah. I'm trying to put some things together now. Mm-hmm. To where we can get to that point. Uh, yeah. Recently, just visiting uh, San Diego. Okay. So just trying to connect with some of the universities, San Diego gotcha. State. Yeah. Uh, of course, back here at home, Central okay. Michigan. How yeah. did uh How did that connection happen with San Diego? Man, we were in San yeah. Diego. It was my wife's birthday. Gotcha. So we were there and um, uh, spending time for her birthday. And we actually did skydiving. Oh, that was, <laughs> that's where y'all were at. Okay, we were in San Diego. I, I, I saw the yeah, I saw the skydiving. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're not, crazy, yeah, but yeah, I, I'm yeah, not. Nah, yeah. I, I'm not gonna say I do it again. Exactly. But, <laughs> so she right. went to we went to this restaurant, man. It was on my wife is plant based. Okay. So the restaurant was actually on the campus. Oh, okay. San Diego State. Gotcha. And so I'm like, man, you know, this would be sweet if I could connect with them, yeah. connect with their health department, whatever. Because I love San Diego, man. When yeah. I went, I was like, oh, this is uh, this is all right. Yeah. You know? Had you had you been to anywhere in Cali before yeah. that? Yeah, okay. I actually got some cousins that's okay. in so you, San Diego. You familiar? Yeah, okay. yeah. I'm Not a little familiar. Um, you know. Well, I mean, you got family out there. Yeah, so I got yeah, family out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've never been to Cali at all. Cali is nice, yeah, man. Had I a heard. chance to go up to L.A. for, oh, for yeah? a day. Yeah, oh, so I'm glad you good. made it back. Yeah, right, right. Because <laughs> L.A. is L.A. L.A. is, is, LA. Yeah, yeah. LA is rough. It's <laughs> right. rough. It's a, diff- it's, it's a different vibe in L.A. Yeah, I heard. Yeah. I definitely heard. I do want to experience it, but uh, I, I, yeah, I haven't yet, though. Yeah, it's nice, though. Yeah, it's but San, San Diego San Diego is a, is a place that, that you good. think it could it could work it out could for happen. you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. the connection at San Diego State, though, how did that came from the restaurant, though? Like, what happened? Yeah, it actually came from the re- Well, it was really my mind. I was like, because, you know, mm-hmm. even though I'm on vacation, I'm still thinking. Still working. You know, I'm still working at Plan B and C. <laughs> exactly. You know, so sure. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm like, okay, let me get to San Diego, go to the university, make mm-hmm. a couple connections there, and see where I can go from that point. And yeah, then for I, sure. after, even after then, I'm thinking, I'm like, okay, I went to Central Michigan. Yeah. Let's make that Let's connection. Go out there. You know, yeah. so okay, yeah, that's that's where I am right now. Yeah, no, nah, for sure. Yeah. Now, I I think we we haven't really we haven't talked about this before um but i know you know i I was doing a documentary about sleep apnea Mm -hmm. um now had you ever had a situation with sleep apnea at all or man i did and it was uh it was tough man because i literally i tell people and i write about it too okay i tell people all the time man even when it came to sleep apnea my wife noticed it Mm -hmm. and she was like you know you you stop sleeping at night yeah what you know i just knew that when i got up I was tired. Yeah, he wasn't resting. It was like I wasn't rested. Yeah. So I went and got checked out and everything. But I literally slept on the couch mm-hmm. for like two, about two years, man. Yeah. I slept on the couch. Yeah. You know, it was times I, you know, I'd get up and go back into bed. Mm-hmm. But I, for the most part, I was sleeping on the couch because I didn't, 
I didn't want to feel like I was just going to, you know, pass right. away or whatever. Man, look, I, hey, Man. trust me, I understand because when I, before, uh, before I knew what it was, yeah. I was struggling to sleep. And I, I didn't know nothing about sleep apnea, none of that. So, yeah. yeah, just like you, I was sleep sitting up in the chair. Yeah. So, because, again, like you said, you don't want to be laying down trying to sleep and, no. and dying in your sleep. So, I mean, it's a serious situation. Now, with, with the weight loss, mm. did it did it go away or? Man, it went away, man. I remember, just that simple. Just that simple. I remember man. when I first went, got it checked out, mm-hmm. had the machine, and, you know, went back and had it checked or mm-hmm. had the machine checked. Because I told him, I was like, man. I was in a in a sleep, in a deep sleep, mm-hmm. so much so to where I felt like I couldn't even wake up. Yeah. And he told me, he was like, oh, that was that REM sleep. Yeah. You needed that. Your you, body needed that. Hey, look, you hadn't experienced that. <laughs> I hadn't that. experienced it in a long time. <laughs> you thought something was wrong. I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> like, like, no, bro, this is what it's supposed to be like. <laughs> this is what it's supposed to be. I had no idea, man. Okay. So, you know, but I'm done with that, man. I was on yeah. um, five different... Uh, blood pressure pills. Yeah, I'm on, I'm I'm done with those. No pills, no, no nothing pills. for blood pressure. No blood what? pressure pills. Yeah, man, that's yeah, what's so up. Done yeah. with that. Done with the uh, with with the CPAP machine. Yeah. You know, for sure. So I'm glad of that about that. You know, nah, it, it was, for real. It was it was tough. It was yeah. tough. So I definitely want to. Uh, I mean, obviously you, you don't use it anymore, but yeah. I definitely still would like to. Uh, you know, interview for our documentary for mm-hmm. sleep apnea just to. Talk about you know the the things you went through while you had it and and now yeah. how it is uh, sleeping without it and, and I did I, I want to ask you that too though because we talk about weight loss being physical and mental mm-hmm. how much of it like leaving that CPAP behind was mental too though because even though maybe you lost the weight and you don't need it but then you probably at some point kind of got dependent on it so yeah like, I, did. I did yeah so how did you how did you break that tie um you know again it just just with the weight loss and mm-hmm. uh, made sure I continue to drink all my water man and yeah. you know it was crazy because even when i was going out of town yeah you'll go out of town and you have to carry that machine yeah yeah, and, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know you have to go through all the checks and you, you just you know it was a it's lot. a lot it's, it's a, a lot. lot man it's a lot you get tired of, but even even now so yeah. i'm walking through tsa so you know you got to go through mm-hmm. and every time i go through because like i said i have my knees replaced yeah hip replaced it's setting off everything i'm setting up <laughs> and people looking at me they looking at me like Man, what's what you what you got? <laughs> what's on you? Exactly. So like, you have to you have to tell them that you have some yeah, replacements. Yeah, I have to let them yeah. know. I already know the routine. Yeah, because you, know? you already know, know how it goes. So. Yeah. <laughs> no. yeah, so you just get tired of it, man. And uh, yeah. you know, after a while, you just you know you're like, hey, this I, I'm done with this. You yeah, know? and it's and it's tough too though, because like nobody nobody wants to be dependent on no. something. No, you know what I'm saying. So like. Like you at home and the power go out now you nervous because you can't plug your machine up like right. nobody wants to be dependent on something exactly. like that so I definitely understand that. Uh, yeah. uh, now you you talked about your wife obviously yeah. uh being uh being an influence uh kind of doing the things that motivated you to to be like you know let me change my life. Yeah. Um how how instrumental was she in this book though? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she was very instrumental, man. Like yeah. I said, she was the, the one who actually kicked everything off yeah. and told me like look <laughs> this is what she doing i really just followed her footsteps okay because she's plant-based mm-hmm. she eats plant-based um she was logging in her her, her foods yeah it took me two years just to even download the app <laughs> you know <laughs> for real procrastinating took, yeah i was i was procrastinating for real you oh, were talking about writing a book i was right. really procrastinating <laughs> Because, you know, my mindset was like, man, I'm not about to do that. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to log in everything. But that's how I had to start off. Right. I was, I mean, I don't do it as much now. Okay. But that's how I had to start off. I was yeah. like, okay, this is where I had to go from here to there. So my wife played, she actually, she actually showed me just through her living mm-hmm. on how to get this thing started. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it sounds like she the she the backbone. She the to the backbone. To the process. Yeah, she the backbone to the process. For sure. That's man. that's what's up, man. Yeah. Everybody's not that lucky though, right? Everybody's yeah. not that lucky to have a partner that really like, you know, stands in their corner like that. Yeah. How how important was that for everything though? Like, cause I mean, you talking about the weight loss, the mm-hmm. the book moving forward with uh you know some speaking engagements coming up i'm gonna yeah. go ahead and talk that into yeah, yeah. uh talk that into fruition and um uh, and she's been a part of all of that so like what would it be like if you chose a different part like do you think you would have been able to do this on your own no not at yeah. all man i don't think i'd be able to do it at all you know yeah. she, she's definitely been my motivation 
For sure. Yeah, you know, my motivation. Just and just want to do better. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. like I said, I was down and out, man, for what five and five years. Yeah, that's a long you know, time. Five and a half years. That's you know? a long time. For so sure. I owe her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. yeah you she, know, got, she got one coming. Huh? Return on investments. Yeah, yeah. You know, she got she got it coming. You got know, you. so I, I, got, I have to. Yeah. yeah, for sure. I, I got you on that one. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Yeah. Now, I know we're not going to talk about the next book. But like, right. what what do you see like in the uh, in the future though? Like in the in the near future, other than speaking the games, speaking like where do you want to where do you want to take this? Because this is legitimately a brand. Yeah. So like, where do you want to take the brand? Where do you see it going? Um, I really see it going, man. Like I said, and even when we talked off camera, mm-hmm. um, in regards to not just here in the United States, right? You know, right. overseas, yeah, for you sure, know, international. So. Um, I have some connections in, in Japan. Yeah. And so I really want <laughs> to take it, man. I'm telling you, yeah, shout out to Japan. Yeah. Osaka. So I really wanna I really wanna take this thing as far as it can go. As far as God wants me to take it, man. Yeah. You know, I'm there. For sure. Yeah. I, I really want to do this. Is thing. there is there a uh is there a certain demographic that you're aiming towards? Like is it a target or it just this is just for general audience? It's general audience. Okay, yeah, it's, 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 it's definitely general audience. Yeah. You know. I love Definitely dealing with you know our people. Definitely yeah, love for sure. dealing with always African because yeah. you know, but it, it's for everybody. Yeah. You know, it's for everybody. It's a message right now, man. Especially now, mm-hmm. especially after the pandemic. You know, a lot of yeah, people man. have um, just kind of just fell off. Yeah, you know. So Cause I ain't gonna lie, we was kind of getting it together during the pandemic because yeah. people were frightened. Yeah. So like people really start taking their health seriously. But you're right. Serious. Now that things are back open, you're not wearing a mask. People are like, ah, yeah, I'm gonna like, chill out. You right. Know? Yeah, yeah, that is true though. So, yeah. how how hard is that to keep that motivation up for people? You think though, because it it seems like people don't move like that until it's a crisis. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so when it's not crisis time, how do you keep a person motivated? Man, you just gotta again. Like, so you gotta change that mindset. You gotta be able yeah. to go. You gotta be able to grind, and it takes a lot for me. You yeah. know, I don't like getting up. <laughs> I get up at three. I get up at three to get there. Yeah, I'm at the gym at five. But even at three, man. So I'm in my. You know, I'm I'm studying. I'm praying. I'm I'm trying to get myself because I know if I can't spread a message unless I got myself together first. That's true. So in order for me to have myself together first. That's what I got to do. That's what you got to do, right. And then, you know, kind of go from there. Yeah, because you can't fill nobody's cup if yours is no, empty. Yeah, 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 if mine is empty, I can't, I can't spread it, you know? That's facts, yeah. That's, so, yeah, that's man, facts. so I've just been trying to do that and, uh, you know, just work work through that yeah. whole damn. All right, we go. Uh, we go. We go round it off in a minute here because I don't want to hold you too long. Oh, you but I, I do want to ask you this, though. During this process, uh, the writing process, mm-hmm. what would you say is the most memorable point in mm. this process like what what would be your, your best memory during this process man i think the best memory for me actually just writing this book is mm-hmm. really just completing it <laughs> yeah no for sure for no real. seriously man because you know yeah. phew, it took me forever to write yeah. this book man so was, that was an accomplishment that for was real. a huge accomplishment man. Yeah. I, I was you know like i said procrastinating so i wanted to complete it mm-hmm. um like i said it's not a big book it's not anything that i mean i've had people have been read it Went through it a day, yeah. two days. Yeah, because some people read like that. I don't. Yeah, I don't some people read like that. Read like that. <laughs> yeah, I don't read like that. I don't read like that either. <laughs> so you know, I, I wanted to make it to where it's and I wanted it to be as practical mm-hmm. as possible. Okay. You know, and so um, yeah, man. That was, yeah. You know, just keep I, it short, yeah, was, keep it smooth. I was, yeah, I was curious because I know there's a lot of points in there where, where it, it take you to a place or mm-hmm. it, even a, an epiphany. Like I'm pretty sure you learned some stuff about yourself that you didn't even know. Oh, absolutely. until you until you had written the book. So, um, I it, another question. I'm sorry. I don't yeah, want to no, keep no, going you, back to no, the no. to the book though. So, like in the book, um, because I haven't had a chance to read mm-hmm. yet. Is it is it anecdotal or like are you telling stories about everything or like is it are you giving people how to lessons? Like, what's both. going on? In, both, yeah, okay. actually both. I'm All giving right. people how to, yeah. and I'm telling the story. What you went through, what I went through. Got you. Okay. That, was, yeah, that make the most sense. Yeah, man. So yeah. now you can, if I can identify with it, then I can, I can take, I can take the process a little easier. Oh, so, yeah, absolutely. That's usually yeah. how that works. Yeah, yeah for sure. Absolutely, man. Uh, it is something I'm curious too. Like, I, I got a million <laughs> questions. I'm sorry. You know, I, no, man. Go I ahead. I keep saying I'm about to wrap it up, right? Right, but, right. No, but you're good. So again, I know that it's it's a mental and physical thing. Mm-hmm. Um, had you at any point had to do like any therapy or anything? Or, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, you know, went through the whole the the uh, 
the the uh, surgeries. Mm-hmm. No, I mean like uh, mental, like therapy. Oh no, yeah, no, no, not necessarily. Um, yeah, yeah, I know you went through all the, yeah, the physical therapy. Yeah, yeah, we know you went through that. Yeah, but like, yeah, did you? Did, is, would that ever like be a, a part of it? Like, because I know mental health is affected mental health is. when you're going through something like yeah. that. So, but yeah. you didn't, you didn't have that issue. I didn't have okay. that. It, not not necessarily. You know, to like the point said, where you might need some help. No, okay. no, I went through, and like I said, man, my faith carry me a long way and, and there you, you, go. you know you could put all of those components together yeah for sure you know, and still for sure. health is, is good you know? it is, yeah. and like I said even before and it's it was, necessary it's necessary yeah, it's necessary it's definitely necessary man I see it every day I'm mm-hmm. I'm a teacher so, right yeah that's what you mentioned you know, yeah you see it every day I'm, I'm looking at some of the students man and I'm like okay there's, there's, they need there's evaluation. Some, there's some things that need to, <laughs> to take place, addressed. you know. Yeah, for sure. So yeah, it, it's important. Yeah. It's important, man. So and I'm I'm glad I'm glad you know, like not to get off subject, but mm-hmm. I, I am glad that stigma has has changed. It's changed. Yeah, because like or it's changing. I won't say yeah. it has changed, but um, I think it is changing where people, uh, you know, black people anyway, are starting to really address their mental health because yeah. that was a thing that was. It was just avoided. Like, yeah. you just don't talk about it. Mm-hmm. And you just blow people off as being, you know, crazy. That's it. And, yeah, so I'm glad we moved past that, though. And I think that that'll be helpful in a lot of people's um, weight journey. Mm-hmm. Like, because it, it is, a lot of it is mental. A lot of especially it Especially when you fall into depression and things like that. So mm-hmm. you, you never really went into, like, a, a you, yeah. you did? <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I went into a so, depression, man. Yeah. You know, just going through that stage and. Like I said, it was tough. Yeah, because you, know, cause you sure don't know, tough. you don't know what your next move gonna be. Yeah, you know, so the uncertainty of it all. It was, it was just even thinking about it. You know, it's like, man, that's okay now. Now, what am I gonna do? Like, what's yeah. my next move? So now you got anxiety. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So you right. putting all that together. All that together. On top of not sleeping. Yeah. And everything else. Man. So, yeah, uh, it's you, crazy. And this, this is something else I was wondering too, though. And this might be something that uh, you might venture into, like the further mm-hmm. the brand goes. But like, how much? Uh, and this, this is way. This is like a shot way outside. But this okay. is like kind of the thing that I'm thinking about doing when I'm doing my documentaries. Like, how much do you think? Uh, like our disconnect. When I say our, I mean like black people's mm-hmm. uh, disconnect with the uh, like with the health industry. Mm. Like, how how much do you think that plays a part into? our weight issues and health issues. Cause like there is a disconnect. Like we it don't, is. we don't get the same treatment inside the city or, you know, in certain areas uh, as far as when it comes to medicine and, and medical attention. So like how, how much of a, of a role do you think that part plays in the health situations that we have? Uh, it plays a huge role, man. I, yeah. I could give you one example. Mm-hmm. Um, even going through the, the pain surgery, the, the knee replacement surgery. Right. A lot of pain. Yeah, that was a lot of pain. I bet. And so, even during that time, man, I remember one time it was you know the doctor was like, "Hey, I'm not giving you any more pain pills. I'm not going to give you any more pain pills." But the next person yeah. is writing a script for. Yeah. And I know now you know it, it's kind of it's a tricky situation. It is, but you know, you but were in pain. I was in pain. <laughs> exactly. And I don't know anybody that want to be in pain. Nobody I know. You know yeah. so. Uh, it, it was a tricky situation, man. And, yeah. and so, yeah, it plays a huge role. Right. To you know, I think a lot of times most of the physicians they look at it like, okay, well, you know, he black, he can he can deal with it. Yeah, he and that, deal, and that's a that's a real thing. It's real. That's a real. They really think that for whatever reason we endure more pain. That's yeah. crazy. It's crazy. That's crazy. I remember leaving out of that doctor's office like, man, I don't believe this. Yeah, no, you know. <laughs> and it's really how they look at us, yeah. man. That's wild though. Yeah. And they, so you, you start figuring all those factors are against you. Like, you really have to start doing some of this stuff on your own. Yeah. And just like how you said about the physical therapy, like, sometimes that disconnect with insurance and everything, insurance. they can only give you this amount of, you know, sessions, and, and that's not enough. Like, it's just... It's crazy, man. It's another, crazy. Another story, when I was in the uh, Michigan uh, rehab downtown, Yep. they wanted to cut me off they wanted to just like hey just go home you know you can you can recover from home yeah i was in no condition to go home <laughs> but they thought you could it was absolutely no way i could go home yeah. at that particular time you yeah. know uh man so you know one of my boys he's a doctor there mm-hmm. and it was just how it was how god worked that thing out you know i was gonna say how did you get past it man yeah. it was like he talked to the to the director and then the director they were going back and forth with my insurance company yeah 
So I was there for another two weeks. Yeah, just know, with them going back and forth. Just with them going back and forth. <laughs> right. But other than that, if they would have sent me home. You couldn't have did it. I couldn't have done it. And that's crazy. Yeah, like, But like, what if you didn't know that person down yeah. there? Then they, you'd have went home. And I would have went home. and I would've... Progress would have been set back. Yeah. And a whole a whole lot of things could have been different. Totally different. Man, that's yeah. wild, right? Just that little detail could yeah, change man. the whole outcome. That's for sure. Oh, man, that's crazy. Dog. Yeah, anyway, man. E, um, <laughs> we could be down here all night, bro. Like, we right. could be talking all night. I do want to give you a chance to uh, tell the people where they can uh, purchase the, the, the book and yeah. um, if they're interested in booking you for any uh, you know motivational pieces or just to talk to small groups. Like, How can they Absolutely. get in contact with you? Absolutely. Well, the book is actually you can go to Amazon, mm -hmm. uh, Amazon.com. And For again, sure. the wait is over. My battle with obesity. Yep. Um, you go to Amazon and uh, pull that up, and then you can I'm, all my social media handles. You know, yeah. Okay. Uh, and give us give us some of them. Oh, you got uh, Eric Dot Johnson. <laughs> hey, look, you like you got, like, three, I gotta remember. Yeah, these. I gotta remember all of them. Yeah. <laughs> Eric Dot Johnson three one three two zero five. That's Instagram. Okay. Uh, Facebook Eric Johnson. Got you. All right, for sure. Dog. And how much is the book? The book is 15. 15? All 15 right. Books. Now, can they catch you on the street and buy it too? They can or? catch me on the street. Yeah. I got my book signing coming yeah. up May 7th. Let's talk about it then. Where, where is it going to be at? It's going to be at the Livonia Rec Center. Got you. Yeah. Okay. So that's why I work. So I, I, I went to. I want to have it there because okay. that's why I actually started my workout. Got you. Okay. So I, when Full I contacted circle. them, I was like, look. I want to have my book signed right here. Oh, that's amazing. So they were like, yeah, let's do it. Of course. Because so that's 7th. an amazing story. May yeah. 7th. What time? Sunday, May 7th from 11 a.m. to 4. 11 to 4? All 11 right, for sure. 4. I'm going to be there for yeah, sure. Man, anyway. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to bring my book to get it signed again. Yeah. <laughs> again. Oh, you got, you sign got the another, back. Right? Sign <laughs> the back copy. <laughs> absolutely. No, nah, that's what's up, though. So uh, what, uh, what kind or motivating words do you want to leave the people with today? Man, man you know what? Just... Uh, the, the, the motivational thing, man, is just to wake up every day, thank God, and just try to move forward. Don't let nothing hold you back. Whatever it is, don't let anything hold you back. Don't care. You don't care about what anybody else say. Just keep continue to move forward. That's that's the thing. Just move forward. Not thinking about what happened yesterday. Not thinking about what happened 15 minutes ago. Mm. Just keep moving forward. There you go, man. Yeah. No, no backtracking. No backtracking. <laughs> no backslide. I'm, I'm speaking to myself, right? Right. Now. <laughs> exactly. And you still have to motivate yourself. Still got to motivate. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. All right. So it was a it was a, a lovely experience again, yeah, as man. always, man. I'm glad to have you back. I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad you finally back. Yeah, man. I'm absolutely. mad it took five years. It but... took a minute. Well, I'm gonna make sure the next one ain't gonna take that long. <laughs> you know what? It don't matter. Take you as know. much time as you want because uh, again, this is this is a treat for all of us. But yeah. also, I know this was something that. You had to really go into some spaces yeah, to bring these stories back. So mm -hmm. I, I know that can be challenging. And a lot of people that, that that haven't written anything don't understand that challenge. So um, I, I tease you when we talk about how much time it took. But in all honesty, take as much time as you need. Because right, this story is important enough that we'll, we'll wait for it. Yeah. No yeah. pun intended on yeah. wait. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, well, it was great having you, man. And you, you gave a shout too. out to all the places people can contact you. So uh, that, of course, will be listed in the uh, in the description as well. Yeah. So you'll be able to click the uh, link and purchase directly from that link. Uh, that's it. That's it e, man. it was glad. It was a, it was a great adventure again to have you. We won't let, we won't wait five years again. No, no. Matter of fact, I might try to. I might try to put something, a okay. little something together at the uh, at the signing. Let's do it. Yeah, we can do it like let's that. Let's do it, man. Yeah, let's do it like that. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. So you already know what it is, man. It's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live for the 48205. This has been another exclusive interview off the block with my man EJ, Eric Johnson. Yes, sir. Till the next time, man. Peace out, y'all. All right. All right. Thank you, baby, you did that.